we as doctors always strive that our patient should get the best results in spite of all the odds so here i am sharing my trick of having a pristine clear corneas in a patient with hard mature cataract like this and still having a crystal clear cornea on day 1 so this is the de scan of a patient because the fundus was not visible because of the dense cataract and patient was planned for this surgery the surgery has been fast forwarded at the rate of 1.5 the normal speed so as just to keep the viewers engaged so making a clear corneal incision 2.8 mm instilling intracameral lignocaine 0.5% then proceeding to stain the anterior capsule using this dry pan blue dye it is important that the capsule is stained in these white called white cataracts because transparent capsule with the background of this opaque white lens is not visible so staining it makes it possible that the capsule is clearly visible because it's one of the important steps to tear this capsule in a round fashion so as to have a uncompromised capsulorexis so once the capsulorexis has been done the time is to go ahead and emulsify the nucleus and these nucleus are bulky they are hard and that causes that if the pieces are chopped just into four and then the emulsification process is attempted then invariably these pieces will prolapse out of the bag if not totally then at least one part of the nucleus chunk is definitely going to prolapse out of the bag so the trick which i am going to demonstrate is that do not crack this nucleus in four pieces rather crack them into eight pieces so i am using a direct horizontal chop technique and horizontal chop techniques are known to reduce the amount of echo power required and i will also emphasize that it is not essentially the echo power which is dissipated inside the eye which will cause corneal endothelial damage but rather it is the rubbing of these nuclear chunks on the endothelium which causes the corneal endothelial damage so with this trick when you disassemble this nucleus into multiple small pieces which is more than 6 or 8 what you do is you have a very small piece which will not prolapse out of the bag and into the anterior chamber or very close to the endothelium and that is what will prevent any corneal endothelial decomposition or damage and this will allow us to have a pristine clear cornea on day 1 so as we can see i have first of all i had chopped this nucleus into total 6 pieces and now further as i proceed i keep on chopping them into smaller chunks so that they don't reach up to the endothelium once i have removed the nucleus which was actually the bulk of the cataract in this patient there is hardly any cortex left so i have also demonstrated this technique of polishing the capsular cells using the viscoelastic material and the cannula itself so proceeding for removing the cortical fibers which are scanty but one needs to have a clean bag to have minimal post operative intraocular inflammation having a curved eye tip has advantage that you don't need to twist too much and simply rotating the tip will allow you to reach to the fornices of the capsular bag once the capsule has been cleared it's the time to implant the iwell so in this patient we had selected 
the hydrophobic multifocal IOL and as you can see the markings on the lens itself and this lens is going to provide clear vision for all the distances near and far. But the deficiency here which I see is that the capsular axis is not of adequate size and it is covering a large part of the optic. So proceeding to enlarge my capsular axis which can be done at this moment not only safely but also I can have the sizing of the capsular axis guided by the size of the IOL optic. So the stained capsule which is visible to us has been nicked at one point and using that nick I have extended the capsular axis. Proceeding on to removing the viscoelastic and I should mention that I have used sodium hyaluronate in this patient which is very easy to remove and hence there is no retention of viscoelastic material which can cause next day keratitis or rise in IOP. Surgery has been finished and now to see the day one picture. So this is the day one picture of this patient and we can easily appreciate the clarity of the cornea and the patient vision was 6 by 9 unaided with N8 near vision unaided. And this is the kind of result which we want our patients to have. Thank you.